thank you so much. Welcome to Let's Talk Mentoring. Um, so today we are going to be talking about Goal Buddy, our Goal Buddy program with P4K. Um, and my special guest for today is going to be Carol Russell. Carol, you've been here with P4K for some time. Please introduce yourself. Tell us how you got involved with P4K um, and take it away. Okay. Well, um, I think Deb looked it up for me because I'm not real good on um, keeping track of time and how long I've been involved. But um, I was trained, I think, in um, 2014 and uh, to be a goal buddy. And the reason I was interested is I knew some people. I knew um, Deb Denbeck. Uh, from prior involvement in the community, and she's the executive director, and I also, um, P4K is kind of a combination of uh, Winter Circle, which was started by um, Jerry and Cookie Hoberman, and then Yanni's Kids, which was started by Mike and Gail Yanni, and so, um, you know, I just admired those individuals as well and thought that they're, um, you know, I should get involved with mentoring. It, I like the P4K program because it works into my schedule. I think there are a lot of wonderful mentoring programs in the community, but, um, you know, it's maybe more one-to-one -one with an individual. It's, it is after school, it's um, maybe some weekends. And for me, um, it was much easier to be involved during the day. So going to the school and working with the uh, youth there um, was a drawing card for me with uh, P4K. Um, I'm, uh, I started at Belvedere mm -hmm. and um, I was a goal buddy there. And then, um, and also a book buddy. And then um, I am now a book buddy at Sherman Elementary and a goal buddy at Fountainelle School. Um, and these are schools that um, I think OPS picked as um, schools where the um, children would benefit most from the P4K program. So, um, I really enjoy this, the interaction with the children. And um, like I say, it's during the day, which works into my schedule. Very flexible, um, very good. Um, doesn't require too, too much of um, time commitment um, for, for some of the programs. Um, for example, the program that we're, we're talking here about today, which is the Goal Buddy program, that requires uh, two, um, you meet twice a month, and it's a 30-minute uh, visit per minute visit with the classroom. Um, Deb, Deb, Deb Shaw uh, put down in the chat box the different schools that we work with here in, with OPS. We have worked with Gifford, um, like uh, Carol mentioned, uh, Sherman, um, and then we also work with Franklin, Minnelusa, Field Club, Elementary. Um, so those are some of the schools. And yes, definitely, Carol, they're very flexible and really great for um, different schedules for, for different times as well. Um, and I know that you mentioned that you were part of our Book Buddy program as well. But you also, I was reading here in our community uh, impact flyer, um, that you are also part out of our board of directors. Yes, yes. So uh, that's why, um, well, I was asked, and um, like I say, there are a lot of great mentoring programs. But what I like about Partnership for Kids is you start um, early on as a book buddy, and there are themes. So you talk about kindness, you talk about goals, you know, even as a book buddy. And um, you talk about uh, their attendance, their participation in class. Um, and then the goal buddies 
um, you talk about there being an, they're in elementary school and what happens after that. It's middle school, high school, and then it's some post-secondary thing. So you, you try to take them and, and instill in them the fact that to get to a career, to get to your life goals, that you have to proceed through middle school, high school, and then some sort of post-secondary. So you're setting those goals early. And, um, you know, I really like participating with the youth. Um, and it's it's so rewarding because they'll come up and they'll hug you after class and everything. They're just, um, you know, great kids. And what I was amazed with at Sherman, um, the streets around Sherman aren't even paved. And so, you know, these are kids who uh, the, a great majority of them live in trailer courts, you know, around the, the school and... Um, you know, they just really appreciate your being there and you're just one more adult in their life that can um, interact with them, so. Definitely, yeah, the kids love our mentors um, and the mentors have that opportunity to move with the students from as early as uh, pre-K um, all the way to um, high school. Um, and sometimes even up to, they can stay, stay connected through college as well and through their careers as well. Because these, these mentors are mentors for either for the time that you can offer or for life, basically. Um, I know sometimes there's some of my alumni, because I also was part of Partnership for Kids. Um, I am still part of Partnership for Kids. And... A lot of my uh, friends as well have were part of it and still connect with their mentors today. So it's an amazing opportunity that P4K has that opportunity for a mentor to move with that student from book buddy to goal buddy to uh, group mentoring. Um, but yes, we, we do we do do that and, and it is an, an amazing opportunity to be able to work with these students. Because um, like you mentioned, these students um, sometimes have are looking for more people to connect with. We're looking for um, adults to connect with. Uh, we have we have a system also. Um, it's called our Get to Know Me um, that each mentor does. Um, there's different versions for different for the different programs. Um, I'm I'm sure you you're aware of, of the Get to Know Me that you had to fill out when you were partnered with your uh, students? Yes, well, yeah, and what what is fun at Fountain Hill School is, um, you know, we talk about, um, you know, maybe what high school they're interested in. And of course, with open enrollment, they can choose, but obviously Benson is the closest one to them as far as distance. And I graduated from Benson. Now it was many, many years ago, but um, you know, I basically, um, you know, talk, uh, encourage the bunny um, atmosphere in it, and um, and then too, you know, I I don't, I'm not involved with the, on the high school level, but mm -hmm. just knowing what they do with the students and encouraging them and, and helping them with scholarships and following them and helping them navigate the post-secondary system, whether it's, you know, um, Metro or UNO or something like that, They're, they have someone there who's helping them um, and guiding them through. But um, the goal buddy, um, like I say, we talk about goals. We talk about life goals, um, you know, how they um, need to develop skills that will help them um, through their lifetime. Um, mm -hmm. In doing this, there are usually, it's usually a pair or more of um, mentors that are in the classroom. So in that particular setting, you're not alone and you have some support um, from other mentors. Um, Book Buddy is more of a one-on-one -on -one 
you know, in the classroom. So, um, you know, if you're a little leery about going into a classroom on your own, you have someone else with you to support what you're doing. Yeah, definitely. For all of the programs, we have support. We have the program coordinators. We have other fellow mentors in the classrooms. Um, we meet beforehand to talk about um, what the curriculum is, what the topic is going to be about. Um, and we discuss that before the, the mentor goes into the classroom. And also for the Goal Buddy program, we also offer the post-secondary and career exploration already as early as fifth and sixth grade. So we do offer the, that opportunity for that mentor to have that conversation with that student and, and get them thinking about what what is it that I want for middle school or um, maybe, maybe even um, high school as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, I think I think the most fun is a goal buddy is when you ask them what they want to be when they grow up and most of the boys want to be football players or basketball players. And we said, that's, you know, a, a nice thing, but you have to think beyond that because that is not a lifelong career that will, that you can sustain. So, um, you know, we talk about an interesting comment, the, um, one of my last goal buddies, we uh, talked a lot of them wanted to be teachers. So they asked the teacher that day what she does. And, you know, she gets up at five and she exercises and then she works on this and does that. And, you know, then she's in the classroom, then she goes home and corrects papers and all of this. And most of them change their um career choice after all of that <laughs> yeah <laughs> they are and it's great to have the student think about different op different opportunities get them um informed about the opportunities they have here in omaha or just in general what they have to what the world has to offer um, it is great to think about more than one career. Um, if basketball doesn't work out for them or football doesn't work out for them, like you mentioned, they can always go for many, many other things. And that's the amazing opportunity that you have to work with those students and be like, hey, there's this awesome opportunity over here as well. Um, and from the time that I've gotten to know you, maybe this is something that would interest you. Um, so that's that's amazing that you get those opportunities and those beautiful memories you get with those students as well. So uh, that's actually what I wanted to go a little bit more uh, in depth about. What, what are some of the uh, most impactful or memorable things that you've gotten out of um, the time you've been with P4K? Because yes, we are mentors and we mentor these students, but also sometimes it's the other way around. Sometimes these children teach us a lesson, teach us something. So what are some of the lessons or things that you've learned with while working with these students? Well, um, it's it's amazing how these kids are um, are are so resilient, um, you know, with a lot of them, there's trauma in their life. I remember one young man who was just always so perky and everything. And, and then his attitude changed. And we found out from the teacher that his father had been killed in a drive-by shooting. And, but, you know, we worked with him and, um, you know, I think us being there um, was helpful for him. And I also think, especially during this situation now with the pandemic, um, we're also helping the teachers. Um, you know, we're getting giving them some sort of a break. Again, we're another person in the classroom um, to help support them. And, um, you know, I just think that these teachers should be given medals for yeah, what they're doing yeah and our mentors definitely definitely i think the mentors the teachers we are all a sort um a source of support to these students so um before we because our time is running out and i'm so sorry i wish i could talk to you all day um but i want to 
uh, to ask you, like for people that are considering joining our, our programs, our, especially our, our Go Buddy program, what are some tips that you have for them? Uh, well, be flexible, especially in this time, because you find um, that things need to be changed because of the pandemic, because um, teachers are out and staffing is difficult. So you may go into a classroom where it, normally it's 20 kids and all of a sudden they have 30 because another teacher didn't show up and the kids were divided up. And so, um, you know, I think it's, it's being flexible, but enjoying the kids, even the ones I said, I remember when I was a camp counselor and the ones that always wanted to hold your hands were the ones that you didn't like very well. Um, the ones that you really liked were the self-assured ones who knew what to do and the ones who wanted to hold your hand just probably needed that. And it's the same way in the classroom with the kids. Some kids just need a little more attention than others. And so you're there to help support them as well. I definitely, I definitely agree. I definitely, I don't want mentors to get disencur dis, um, encouraged, I believe that's the word. <laughs> um, whenever there is um, tough, uh, tough situations because they're children, they're learning, they're growing. Um, so it's part of what we do. It's part of um, part of what it is to become uh, an adult. Those kids are growing and they're becoming adults. Um, so they got to learn. And we're here to be a uh, support to them, um, to be their mentor, um, to and, and you're never alone. Like I mentioned before, you have the support of that teacher. You have support of your of program coordinator, you have the support of other mentors if you ever need any advice. Um, thank you so much, Carol. Um, I'm gonna open up the, the chat room for any questions. Um, if anybody has any questions, you can unmute. I, I, yeah, have, so I have a question. My name's yeah, Connie right. Ross uh, and I got into the Gold Buddies. I've been in it for like five years uh, mm -hmm. and I was at Mountain School for five years with and I had started out with Terenza Perkins. And uh, I enjoyed it so much. My, I had the, the kindergartners and the preschoolers, and I loved it. I read the books to them. I seen the, the expressions on their face. They light up when they, and they had questions. But my question is, what can we do now? I, I understand this pandemic and this variant is very predominant among schools and the classroom. What can we do as individuals? Because I want to get back into doing that because I love it so much. And it just kind of, I enjoy being with the kids and I can go out shopping and I can see, well, there's Miss Connie and I get a big hug and I just, I love it. So I'm just wondering what can we do now mm -hmm. as mentors? Well, we're in the classroom now. We wear masks, um, you know, um, and, so it was so much better last year when it was virtual it was it was very difficult and it was difficult to interact with the kids i still have problems sometimes when they're talking or asking questions with a mask on um, in understanding them so sometimes the teacher has to translate for me but we are in the classroom and um you know i that's when I really enjoy it. Um, you know, I did the virtual um, just because I thought it was important, but the interaction just wasn't uh, as fulfilling. I also want to piggyback on that. Um, we are also offering um, an opportunity to do book recordings. If you're not comfortable yet going into uh, the classrooms, like Carol mentioned, we, we, we are taking protocols, making we're making sure that the students are safe and that our mentors also are safe by wearing the masks, sanitizing hands, um, keeping that social distancing um, as well as much as possible. And we also, um, like I mentioned, we're doing pre-recording books. We're pre-recording books. Um, so for the days 
that um, maybe a mentor can't make it, or if that is a way that you want to connect with the student by reading a book, recording, your, recording yourself and reading the book and having it sent to the classroom so that they get to know you there. Um, that's another opportunity that we're, we're offering to connect with the, with the, with the students as well. Um, keep that connection strong, even when you cannot be there. Um, so that's another, uh, another opportunity. Anybody else have any, any piggyback on that? Um, any other advice for her? P4K staff, I know I have some P4K staff up in here. Sure, this is Deb Shaw. And Connie, you are just a person we're looking for as we host these virtual Let's Talk mentoring. We are mm -hmm. trying to reach out to those folks who've been with us and what can we do to re-engage you? Jenny is absolutely correct that we have opportunities to pre-record. But additionally, if you don't want to work with older students, we have some one-off opportunities. So I'm gonna email you those. We have set up what we call a genius site to where you wanna look out there and you can volunteer with P4K, whether you are in the mentoring program officially, where we need one-off volunteers for judges for when we do our Shark Tank activity. And I'll talk more about that. That's an exciting adventure where you can come in and see how the kids have grown from book buddy, go buddy status to middle school, high school. We need volunteers to help with mock interviews. And that's one off with our post-secondary and our high school students. So it just depends on what's your excitement point in dealing with our students. And absolutely, you can come in shadow we are definitely in the classrooms. If you want to check out one of our events, our visits, I am a book buddy at Metalusa. You're welcome to shadow me. You're certainly welcome to shadow Carol at her elementary school. So I will email you because as promised for those who attended this session, you will be getting an email with me with your coffee coupon. So you will be hearing from me afterwards. You just needed to show up and get that coupon. But I'd be happy to talk more about the opportunities that you can re-engage with our P4K, P4K students. We need you. Most importantly, our students need you. Thank you. I'm just excited. I just want to get back. And, you know, I love kids. Um, and I just want to share what I have. Share, you know, share my expertise, what I have. I know, uh, now myself, I'm a, the groundworthy matron of the Eastern Stars of Nebraska, uh, but I'm retired, but I want to get back into the classroom. I want to get back, you know. I want, I, I can't see the smiles because everybody's wearing a mask, but you can see it in their eyes. I was gonna say, you can feel the energy. Do you know Pat Brown? Yes, ma'am, I do. She's All a past right. friend, yes. <laughs> Is a past grand. I'm I know. I know. Steps. I will be talking very All soon. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. All righty. Does anybody else have any questions for Carol, for me, for Deb Shaw? Well, if not, we thank you all for joining. Carol, we want you to hang on. We had a little. Um, pick up in our time. We might have some people join us at one o'clock and you might have to do this again. Let's, oh, okay. let's hang around and see. <laughs> Thank you, people, for Kate staff for joining. Thank you, Pollyanna, for stepping in. I really appreciate you. I met Pollyanna here recently and true to her word, she joined in and we're, we're going to be seeing her more. Uh, Thank you, everyone, for joining us Thank today. You. Tell Thank others you. about Let's Talk Mentoring. Uh, Definitely. Thank you. And also, thank you to Mentor Nebraska for sponsoring and helping us absolutely. out with it. Let's Very talk good. mentoring. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Carol. Um, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.